Prime Minister's managed to ease diplomatic tensions from across the Tasman in his first official trip overseas as leader. Malcolm Turnbull's offered more resources to help process the appeals of a growing number of New Zealand-born criminals being kicked out of the country. Malcolm Turnbull's given a warrior's once-over. First, a traditional Maori challenge to check whether he comes in peace. Then a diplomatic one from his Kiwi counterpart, John Key. The leader's happy snaps show a political bromance is blooming. It's like any love affair. You've got, if it's last to last, you've got to put a lot of work into it. You've got to put time into it. Time and common ground, which they've been quick to find. We're both, by nature, uh, sunny, optimistic people. While the ongoing campaign against Islamic State also brings their nations together, Australia's immigration policy threatens to wedge them apart. We are lifters in the Australian economy. We are not leaners. We don't go to Australia looking for a free lunch. A crackdown on foreign criminals allows the government to cancel visas for anyone who commits crimes resulting in jail time of at least a year. 240 New Zealanders are in Australian detention centres as a result. The Prime Minister's promised additional resources to fast-track the appeal process and make sure Kiwis aren't deported if they've lived in Australia for most of their lives and only committed low-level crime. We pay a lot of attention to public opinion in New Zealand. Malcolm Turnbull's also paying attention to John Key's political success. He's a hard act to follow in his seventh year as Prime Minister and having increased his majority at three elections, all while there's been a revolving door of five different leaders in Australia. Uh, we all have a lot to learn from John. I think you'll not only be a fine Prime Minister uh, of Australia, uh, you'll be a long-term leader of Australia. And perhaps a long-term friend. In Auckland, Maria Yovanovitch, 7 News.